Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man land with a bunch of hardcore mods. We got double enemy squad sized uh, which is really pu uh, pulling its weight now. We got uh, Yellow Alert, which killed quite a few of our operatives already. We do have uh, many, many other hardcore mods and, of course, new enemies. Quite a few. And today Operation Dragon Killer is hopefully going to give us access to Alloys, uh, Alarium and uh, Supplies. Actually, all of the things that we need. If we play our cards right, uh, this here is going to be a fantastic mission. However, uh, I do have the distinct feeling that we are up for a pretty tough uphill battle. Um, let's just double check one thing. We don't have... We still don't have any option and I can't... I can't... Let three Advent Trooper corpses go to waste uh, for a shit item. Uh, we could build blue screen rounds though and... That might actually be a really, really good option. So, say if Dilly G was loading blue screen rounds. That would work well. However, we could also give it to Sonar. I think that would work even better. Once the enemies are shredded, uh, the mechanical uh, ones uh, can be shot by sonar. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. With the addition of so many new uh, non-mechanical units, uh, blue screen rounds are automatically a little bit nerfed. Because uh, all of the elders, for instance, the bandits, um, you name it, uh, all of them are essentially uh, biological units. So blue screen rounds find fewer targets, much fewer targets than beforehand, which I think balances it out nicely. The challenge with the uh, standard game uh, always has been that uh, almost all of the missions had at least a, a few mechs uh, and and uh, codices, etc, etc. So from the very start, uh, blue screen rounds was pretty dominant as ammunition. Okay, let's jump into the mission and see how we're doing. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. We're almost at the edge, kind of middle section high ground, which isn't bad. I like the layout. This is not a timed mission, may I remind you, which means as long as we have concealment, we should be fine. And since there is no additional, additional faction, it's just Advent versus us for once. What? Three armor, four armor, three armor, one armor. Holy. I need to invest in better shredding equipment. This is ludicrous. Double time. Deploying grapple. Good, let's move up without getting too close to them not yet get it done good to go they are in a decent position if they could just stay where they are for now ah, i said stay where they are for now we are harbinger that would actually help us All right, so I would love to go into a solid cover. Very good, so far so good. Next turn we can engage. No, 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 that's not good. They're, they are trying to enter high ground. No, we need to engage right away. 
And they do have too much armor. I can't just let them act with that. So I think I do have an idea. Euler is death from above, but we need him to open that pack. I do have an idea of how we can double dip on this. So eight protocol for threat assessment. Into Overwatch ourselves. We got a second Overwatch from Wilson here. And then let's hit all of them and take away the cover on the left hand side. That means they can't just run into cover. Um, okay, our own tree just disappeared. Nice little hit. Ooh, very nice. Alright, apparently we're shooting corpses now. Good, we got one down. I want to be careful not to overdo it. This here should be fine. Okay, full cover is good. I like it. Let's soften up the shield bearer. It's good. And... You know, what we can do is... We could teamwork and let Euler just do his thing, which is essentially the cleanup. Okay, so that's a trooper. Great. Love it. Let's soften that guy up a little bit more come on down to eight hit points can't be that difficult to kill him unfortunately that's not good enough yet Enemy is still up. first the shield bearer Okay. We missed quite a few high level shots uh, there. Can summon priests, enters overwatch, and can be easily targeted from high ground. Okay, that's what we need to know. The regeneration when someone else dies is nasty, but we could live with that. Okay, there seems to be another pack here. That's why it's... that wouldn't have happened. And great. We're triggering a second pack. Fantastic. Okay, well, it certainly is a bit of a a bit of a tense situation here. All I needs to reload, but I can only do that once we're out of fire. So there we go. No more burning. And before we're taking shots, let's just double check. So that guy could almost die, but 
I would like to deal with that shield bearer first. And we're looking at three, six, nine hit points. So that's not a 100% kill guarantee. Which in return means I would like to soften him up. Wilson, please do that. Thank you. All right, now he is at six hit points. We are reloading because I want to use him as the angel of death. Shield removed. Fantastic. Six, eight, not enough to insta kill. Give Brel another action. I need to. That's again eight hit points. No retreat. Brel takes that extra action. He's dodging a lot of shots. Anyways, now he should be ready to get killed. Continuing the death from above train. Viper's being softened up. Viper is being put down. Big deal. You're a fire. Hmm. Time's coming for you. Full cover into a nice flanking position. Good enough. What value do you place on the lives of your enemy? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so we're continuing with a protocol. So this could be the start. Problem is he still has a lot of hit points. Got to deal with that mutant first though. Okay, I don't think that we can get both of them down without taking chances and I don't want that. So we're focusing instead of the mutant. He's shredded, which is exactly what we were hoping to achieve. Now he's shredded and he's burning. 
that could open up a kill. All right, not perfect, not beautiful, but it worked. We know there's another pack here, likely. Wow. All right, Grell moves into a position. Hmm, that was close. Moving up without trying to instill too much trouble. Good. Russ reloads. Cannon Overwatch is. Wilson reload Overwatch. Reload for Grell. And a long watch, Dilly G overwatch. And I think Sonar uh, reloads as well. Pretty sure the Chosen will be visiting us very soon. There we go. Called it. These constructions will come and go, but the Elder's vision cannot be so. Harbor wave, summon, shoot. I'm not sure if we can, um, if we can remove the cover, we potentially cannot. Our grenades are not strong enough, so might as well just try to mark her and shred her. And since we got a bonus from shooting at high ground. Good aid protocol with a nice little um, threat assessment on top of it. Unfortunately, she doesn't have bewildering wounds. Seven to nine, four to five. I think the pistol shots are better. She's starting to burn. Good, Russ moves up. Yeah, uh, she's burning. Let's see what the chances of hitting her from here are. 81%. I think we're just melee attacking. Okay, that was easy. Good, well, she showed up at the wrong time, at the wrong house. It's like she trespassed here, opened the door, and we stood there with a shotgun. Not today, buddy. <laughs> Good. That was a easier fight uh, than expected. We know, however, there is still a pack down there. And we're running out of time to disable that beacon.
All right. Copy that. Moving into cover. Wait, wait, wait. We hear the music, so something is very close. I'm not going to take any chances here. Alright. That comes at absolutely no surprise. Can't really remove any cover here. Getting a little toasty here. Can't really remove any cover here. Uh, our chances aren't too bad to fight from down here, so that's okay. Could move in and try to massacre the shield bearer. But we got that veteran sniper here on the other side. Okay, so first things first, Sona, who is in front, should get an aid protocol. Moving in with Wilson. Did he really just deal one point of damage? Oh. Okay, whatever. This here might uh, collapse, so I wouldn't want to take cover there. Let's move already. Okay, so lightning hands. Missed. That is not good. I think I need a better position. I would love to be here. Going up. But that's potentially not as easy. Just one pile shy of uh, getting into a really good position. We would be flanking up here, but we equally would be at risk of being um, heavily flanked.
I'll decide what I will do with him in a second. Look, the idea of charging in just doesn't seem to work that well. We unfortunately cannot really um, use a grenade. That would just not work. But we can start uh, to shred him, remove the shield. And at least try to deal some damage to that shield bearer. Overwatching with Grell. We don't have a real good position here. exposed I can't risk that what I will do is I will try to flank them next turn this seems like a reasonable spot they don't know we're here Shields are removed, and now it's a matter of the Python I'm all right. trying to get us. By the way, their shots apparently seem to drain ammo. What the hell is going on? Three abilities in one turn? Yeah, that's going to be a grenade. Okay, cool. Four people are burning. Okay. Great. Yeah. Rolling. Good. We got a hair trigger. That guy will love this. Python needs to die. Three actions in one turn. That is crazy. Healing. 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 And you guessed it, healing. Good, so much for burning. This is straight up flank. I don't understand why it wouldn't. All right. Ready to go. Reload, and let's mark him. That didn't work out as planned.
Good, we're moving in. Overwatch, Overwatch. Next turn we're going to get the beacon. Good, the purifier had nowhere to go. Let's hack the workstation. What are the rewards? Whoa, 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 whoa. There is dark events and that's actually quite a bit of reward here. Let's do this. Rel moves in. Okay, so that would be uh we're currently researching not power armor mutant autopsy that's five days of re uh, five days worth of research i like it this is even better but it's uh, only a 50 50 so could have been greedy with the dark events that uh, would have been great but the research like that's a really really nice bonus We've knocked out the alien distress signal. apparently there's another pack Okay, can't really move anywhere. I'm going. But Euler can and will. The reason why I did not explode the barrel next to him is because every single barrel gives us more resources. Cool, cool. We actually made it. Although with four injuries. That almost felt like a normal mission. The game was uh, being kind to us. Was throwing us a little bone here. So that should have solved most of our intel slash um, alloy slash uh, Elarium problems and we might even have gotten some extra supplies so mutant research and then powered armor and then hopefully I can upgrade to powered armor soon fuck predator armor we don't need that All right, cool. Bladestorm, fantastic. Implacable, also fantastic. The hardest choice overall. For now, Bladestorm, I will skill Implacable as well. Got a hair trigger. Wow, look at that. Mmm, money. And uh, three Elarium cores on top of it. Of course, we got Assault Trooper corpses, but not normal troopers. Well, sonar going with that nice little implacable right here, blade storm and implacable. That's the combo we'd like to see. Endos needs to wait one more. Yeah, we haven't really gotten any promotions. So other than a big fat uh, 30 AP for XCOM, we're not seeing much else. Yeah, can't really upgrade anything 
It's not worth it now. It's not worth it now. But we do have the option to upgrade a soldier bond once uh, once we're actually ready. So anyways, Mutant Autopsy saved four days with that. That's a nice little bonus effect. And we wanted to get that scientist. Plus Avatar project reduction. We're good on Alarium now and on Alien Alloys. Got the Frost Bomb to deal with that uh, with that um, sn uh, Snake King. Out of curiosity, can anyone um, remove negative traits? Yep, Hogbite can. And should do that two more days until we can start with uh, the armor research. We got 53 supplies. Holy moly. Look at that month. Guerrilla Ops, Council Mission, Supply Raid, Landed uh, UFO, Facility Destroyed, New Region, Two Rumors, Avatar Progress, that's the re uh, consequence of the facility, Covert Actions, and quite a few Proving Ground projects. And they continue to crack down our income, which is smart because that is stalling us. Seeking to capture soldiers, that's not a problem. That's also not a problem. We're good. The hidden event is the one that we want to uh, that we want to deal with. All right, skirmishers. All intel rewards increased by 15%. Not very good. Are we going with this? That's 10% extra money. We're not needing that now. I hate to go in with vengeance, like that's the wrong uh, mindset or attitude, but the way that this campaign is going might be the right thing to do. Okay, fantastic. That frees up another engineer. Great. And that in return, triple excavation, triple excavation, that's Elarium. Oh, that one here is much better. All right, starts excavating, that's good. We're almost done with the mutant autopsy. That gives us the chance to upgrade our grenades, which is really, really helpful. And the grenade launcher is good as well. Viper autopsy on top instant. Uh, that means we can upgrade our mat packs. Own experimental ammo. We can now produce a more uh, efficient venom round. Okay, uh, that must be from the mod, because I've never seen that we can produce Venom uh, rounds. Well, you can randomly get them, but not specifically produce them. This is complete um, bullshit. We need, like, this is not worth it, but part armor. That's the play right now. I need armor. Like... Yesterday, 33 days, not good, but uh, we're getting another scientist and that will hopefully change things. I am thinking about getting a spark. Plasma grenades would be a nice upgrade as well because we're not doing very, very well with that. 
Battlefield Medicine would be another upgrade as well. Let's think that through. We are definitely in the need of healing. So Battlefield Medicine is a no-brainer to start with. And then having plasma grenades just for better shredding that in itself is also a no-brainer which means school check deprioritized for now in terms of engineering we could upgrade that grenade launcher Which we are doing when we're selling stuff. For now it's fine. This here didn't cost as much as to give us 170. So we couldn't upgrade it right away. Okay. Let's get that scientist. Fantastic which has decreased the time down to below 30 days that's great that's very helpful what can we sell assault trooper corpse well i want to research them so that's not going to happen and selling the data cache is also not going to happen I don't think that we will be able to get enough superior scope for 25 Intel that's almost a no-brainer superior expanded expanded magazine is also good but the scope in particular is potentially the most important weapon item can now buy lieutenants okay yeah we don't have that amount of intel okay very soon we're going to see another attack on us So what do we need? Let's think that through. We're installing the radio relay to get the continent bonus. I'm trying to slowly move over there. You should have known I'd be coming for your best adventures. All right. Luckily, it has, hasn't happened here, so we can't lose our headquarter. Which makes that whole thing much, much easier for us. Fortunately, we can't uh, rush Battlefield Medicine either. Three more days for sabotage. So that will reduce the avatar progress. What else do we have available? A new resistance order. Speed of all armor research is increased by 15%. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the month, we are already done with that. That would be fun to kill the, the bandits and get them off. Potentially, that's what we need to do. Continue to reduce the avatar progress. I would love to get a reaper. And there's another reduce the avatar progress. I think this month, we are just going to... Continue reducing the avatar project progress because that is our loss condition and as long as we can keep that from happening We should be fine. We got very lucky this month uh, to have uh, two of them But make no mistake. This is not a per uh, permanent solution. We eventually will need to stop uh, at least one more facility and that's really it. Let's take a look at the soldiers before we're leaving. I want to know the truth about the Templars. I suspect they all might be completely mad. Yes, we've all seen their power. 
Hmm. Bite. Uh, on that next mission could uh, could get a level, so I would like to think we should do that. Lyrical starts getting her training in. And we have a lot of lieutenants, just a few captains. This is grinding much, much slower than uh, normally. Because we are continuously heavily wounded. Uh, but things will change, guys. The moment that we do have powered armor, I promise that will be a huge power spike. But in order to get that, we need to fix our supply um, problem. So... One of those um, towers might be the right uh, way of going about it. And we can't lose another kind of um, region. So uh, the next mission will be crucial that we're winning it. Looks like it's, time for a little it's just an advent retaliation. So maybe that is easier uh, than uh, the Haven Assaults, which tended to be unwinnable. Anyways, uh, that's the end of today's episode. If you want to sabotage the YouTube algorithm, like in this Covert Ops mission, think about clicking that like button. Uh, that will trick it into believing that I'm actually doing decent content and will drive more traffic uh, to the channel. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.